Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Sorry somebody gone for so long, okay? On a beer with me. Sorry. The first week I didn't put out an episode, that was Carnival weekend, so enough for techno one day. I was partying all weekend. I was preparing to <laughs> be paint up, paint up at SSS Blue Monday morning, so I didn't put one out. And then the week after that, I had... Um, I was displaced from my apartment because they're renovating. So that's that. (laughs) I just got back into my apartment over the weekend and it still looks a mess. But, you know, I decided to, it's been too long. I have to put out another episode. No one's going to fret. No one's going to have no, you know. So (laughs) I'm here. I'm living. I'm good. I had a couple of people actually check on me and I was just like, oh my God, you guys care. You listen to my show. Big ups to Uno. And then... I've been uploading stuff to YouTube, you know, so I'm, at least I'm not just completely ignoring y'all, like there's stuff going up, but I'm putting the audios on YouTube, so I'm not plugging that too crazy yet, but I'm doing something related to the show. I have been um, recording episodes, so I just haven't had anywhere to really edit them, because like I said, I haven't been home. Um, YouTube, I'm not really plugging like that, because in real life, I only uploaded like episodes one through seven, and... It just takes a lot of time to actually upload it. It takes less effort to edit it, so it's easy to do. So I, like, put it up to go, and I'll just up and go, and I'll be gone the whole day, and then whatever. But I'm literally up at, like, 4 o'clock in my apartment right now recording this because I was like, yo, next Monday can't miss me. But I was supposed to go to the studio yesterday, well, Sunday, whenever y'all listen to this. But I, like I said, I was out of my apartment. I've been moving a million miles a minute, so I haven't really had time to sit down and my body be ready to fight me. (laughs) Like, I'm one of those people, like, I'm a workaholic. Like, I will move. I will move. I will move. I will move. And then my body's like, wait a minute, bitch. I don't know what you think this is, but we need to stop. And that's basically what it did to me because I went to work this morning. Not this morning. I'm talking like it's still Sunday. But I went to work Sunday morning. I stayed at work two hours later than I was supposed to. Then I came home and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. This this is I ate. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, I feel like shit. Like I felt like shit all day and I still stayed at work late. Don't ask me why. And then I'm just like, I need to I need to stop. I need to stop moving. But I was like, no, I need to eat. I need to go to the studio. I need to go record this audio. I need to put it, edit it, put it out by Monday morning. And I'm just like, yo, but I feel like shit. <laughs> like, I felt so bad. I went and I drank some rum. Yeah, rum fixes everything in real life. But the rum never do nothing. So I go sleep. I went to sleep before 9 o'clock, actually. Before 9 p.m., I was in my bed, keel over, like, done. Like, <laughs> my phone was going off, too, because what this shadow got a double tap left me. <laughs> but... Like, my phone was going off, going off. And this bitch, like, Shadow is hilarious, okay? If she's trying to get in contact with me, she will text me literally every letter of whatever she's trying to say, like, in one message. Like, she'll put W-A-K, like, it'll be in one message. Like, the W, then the A is the next message, then the K is the next message, then the E is... Like, yeah, you're not done for do. <laughs> but that's the homie, though. Um, That's my daughter in a real life, kind of not really, sort of. But, <laughs> yeah, um... I just, this episode really just to say, you know, sorry, sorry, Medea, I'm living, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I just been dealing with life and all that fun stuff. Um, I really just wanted to talk about some current events. I saw something a couple weeks ago about two women being raped um, by the same guy. And I want to have a serious discussion about that because, well, rape and then it's just a bunch of stuff I want to talk about, but I'm not, I need to sit down and talk to other people about this. I'm not just giving my opinion, but I have to get in the studio and do that. I'm just like mad anxious to do that. Don't fight me though, because that's not coming out anytime soon. I still have two other episodes that need to come out after this one, before that one. I don't know when I'm going to get to meet up with people. I don't know who's coming on the show to do that one. So don't fight me. Um, Current events, like I was saying, it's been a lot of dumb shit happening. And I know some of y'all had reached out to me and be like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, life is happening. I'm good. Sorry. I was like, no, it's okay. You know, just checking on you, you know, whatever. Just making sure that, you know, you are right or whatever. Everything is good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. You know, just out here. So one thing that I read that I was like, oh, shit, we lit. Um, all these laws. Well, first of all, I've been excited all year. Like <laughs> someone said something about 20 gay teen and I was like, yo, definitely. This is the fucking year for the gays. Like <laughs> there's so many laws being passed this year as far as 
instilling or enforcing or allowing lgbtq rights and like there's so many laws being passed and i'm like yes thank you like why wasn't this here already it's 2018 like y'all are just realizing that just because people fuck the same sex or whatever the case is that they deserve rights like <laughs> what the fuck like the world is a fucked up place you know that so whatever all these laws being passed this year, they've basically been saying, yes, you, consenting adult, you can live your life without being persecuted by the legal system. Whoopee, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like the Tokyo um, government took it one step further. And I was like, yo, I, like I said, the same thing with when India passed their law. I was like, yo, these countries that like have such like, <sighs> like you think about them and you think about like a nation that is so like strict and like, you know, like, I don't want to say conventional, but they're so like, you don't see, they're like, ugh, I don't know how to word it. I'm, I feel like I'm going to say something that's going to sound offensive or it's going to sound ignorant. But those who know what I'm saying know what I'm saying. But it's just like, quote unquote, you wouldn't expect them to be so accepting. Well, not really accepting, but open. I don't know. I sound a mess. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. But I just... I was really like that that touched me because I'm like yo and then I went I looked up and they're saying that basically they're they're very progressive <laughs> contrary to what us westerners may think like they're very progressive because they have like a whole you know um community and they have events and like all this other stuff and I was just like yo but then again I think about it, I'm like yo Tokyo though specifically like not Japan the whole nation but Tokyo itself is very like modern you know what I'm saying so I'm surprised but i'm not surprised at the same time so anyways the article says that the tokyo metropolitan government has passed a bill that prohibits discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity human rights watch said well human rights watch said that the act enacted on october 5th 2018 also commits the city government to conduct in public education about lesbian gay bisexual and transgender rights why now i remember we was talking to light skin records the other day and you know on the episode and he said something about educating people on lgbtq but and you know he said it basically as far as going to school i am here for all of it you know educating people letting people know that yo <laughs> but i i'm sorry but really <laughs> you have to educate people on love like you really have to sit there and explain to people like hey this person is attracted to the same gender that means that they're homosexual this person is attracted to this same gender and the opposite gender they're bisexual there are also people that are considered non-binary which don't necessarily identify as any specific gender then there are transgender people who were born one gender and they feel as though they are the opposite then like y'all really <laughs> just let people be who they are hey my name used to be peggy now i'm paul hi paul that's it hey i like girls i like boys hey like Y'all really got to explain that shit to people? Like, whatever. I guess if it it works in the long scheme of things, like, as far as, you know, educating people so they can understand and accept, just, all right, homie. Y'all can call people nicknames all day without a problem, but acknowledging and realizing that somebody else, like, ugh, it's ignorance, but okay. Anyways, the law is basically saying it is illegal to discriminate against LGBTQ folks, and that's really all I care about. Like, they're taking it a step further, not saying, hey, you can be a consenting adult and not be penalized for it, but yo, as you are being a consenting adult and not being penalized for it, anybody that discriminates against you for being yourself and being LGBTQ, that's legal. Like, that's not legal. It's, no. So anyways... Tokyo, it also says that Tokyo authorities were inspired to draft the bill in advance of the city hosting the 2020 Summer Olympics. Now, okay, y'all got a motive. <laughs> like, whatever the case is. But, you know, all of these steps are in the right direction at the end of the day, no matter what the reasoning is. And I know people may not all be in support of the, um, what you call it, the government, like the people of these countries and places that are doing this. They might not be in agreement, but... It is a start, you know, say so at least the, the legal structure is there that says you can do this and you can be protected from this. So even if, you know, everyday Tokyo um, citizen feels like I don't agree with this. Well, now you can be penalized for discriminating against them because of that. So shout out to that. 
I also read that Toys R Us canceled their bankruptcy thing and they're planning on rebranding internationally, including the Babies R Us brand. And <laughs> I I thought that was kind of funny because everybody was in such an uproar about it, about them closing. And the article came out on October 2nd. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep laughing at this, but it's just like, y'all file bankruptcy. It was a chapter 11 or something, so. And they're trying to reconstruct like a five billion dollar debt like five what what like okay so i'm happy that they f- they're finding ways to reconstruct and redo their things so that they can you know they still have their global licensing and can invest and develop new retail shops internationally so that's what i guess they're gonna plan on doing but shout out to them for those who are sad that babies are us and toys are us are going they might not be all the way gone so go you (laughs) um i remember on one of the super super early episodes i said i was going to start reading to y'all so this can be like the gay reading rainbow well i discovered a book of poems a while back and i've been wanting to read them to y'all so i figured i'm going to start on episodes like this one it's just me i'm not sure if y'all ever heard of it before but it's called nepantla nepantla i kept saying neplanta but then i read it and i was like duh reading is fundamental nepantla is n-e-p-a-n-t-l-a I fell into a rabbit hole looking them up after discovery and also found there have a, there's this IG called um, Queer Book Box and it's a subscription service that delivers, the according to their bio, the best LGBT fiction to your door. So let's get into this. The first episode, the first episode, <laughs> the first poem I'm going to read from the Pantla is something that's unrelatable to me but also very relatable so very relatable janae talk (laughs) so let's go it's by zandria phillips that's x-a-n-d-r-i-a phillips and it's titled reasons for smoking now actually before i even get to that nepantla itself it's The reason why it I it came across to me and I was just like, oh my God, I have to do this was because when I found it, I saw like the covers like this naked person. You don't know if it's a boy or a girl. And it says a journal dedicated to queer poets of color. So, you know, I had to jump on it because, you know, young Neezy or whatever. <laughs> so anyways, into the poem. It's called um, Reasons for Smoking by Zandria Phillips. X-A-N-D-R-I-A Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, here it goes. To preoccupy the mouth in the presence of men, a burning tip is a weapon. To still the anxiety in my chest, a palate for my lips sustain. A way to be discreet in kissing my fingers, an excuse to leave. My own bones burning. Watch their smoke pour from my mouth. So the reason I'm saying that this is relatable but not relatable is because I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Once in a while, you might see me hit a black and mild. You might see me do some hookah. But that is literally the extent of my smoking. This is all social. It's never like, I'm at the house chilling. I need to go smoke something. Like, no, I'm... Or even if I'm at the house, it's usually with people. Like if um, Twin brings her hookah or something like that. But again, the poem is by Zandria Phillips. And it's called Reasons for Smoking. This is me because I do this with my cell phone. Like, I do things to preoccupy myself. Like, I have fake picked up my phone (laughs) and walked away. Like, put my phone to my ear. Like, yeah, so, like, to get away from men. You know what I'm saying? So I read this and I'm like, to preoccupy the mouth in the presence of men. I understand that. And then it's like, to still the anxiety in my chest. Yes. And an excuse to leave. It's it's sad that a lot of women, whether heterosexual, lesbian, bisexual, non-binary, whatever the case is, do not feel comfortable in the presence of men. And it's not even necessarily a man that has done something to you or a man that does, you know what I'm saying? It's just some women, whether by their own experiences or by someone else's experiences or whatever the case is, get anxiety by being around men. And things like this happen. You find reasons to distract yourself or as, like get away from, I was about to say escape, which is actually the right word. And 
it's sad. It's not it's not all men's fault, it, but the climate that we're in, I mean, look at it, you know, Cliff Huxtable. <laughs> not Cliff, I'm just missing. But Bill Cosby, like everybody who didn't really pay attention to his stand-ups, who just know him as Cliff Huxtable, are like, oh my God, Cosby. Like, he was out here drugging bitches and, you know what I'm saying, and still very prosperous human being and so many other men. I mean, look at y'all president talking about grabbing bitches by the pussy. Woman by the pussy. Grabbing, grabbing woman. And there's so many men who don't get any kind of persecution for abusing, taking advantage of, raping women, and... It's as a woman, that's scary. Like somebody can do with you what they want and you can't do anything about it. Like especially if they can physically overpower you. Like that's that's wild. So again, that poem is by Zandra Phillips. It's called Reasons for Smoking and it's in Nepantla N E P A N T L A. Um if you guys are interested, you guys can look it up. It's online. I believe the first um journal is available online and yeah if you like poetry you're queer you're colored if you're not colored if you're not queer if you don't like poetry (laughs) whatever the case is just look it up it's actually pretty good there's a whole bunch of them in there so for anyone who does poetry or short stories or anything if you have any poems or a short story that you want to share or have read on the show please feel free to submit them to me um it's at the email askpointless at gmail.com a-s-k-p-o-i-n-t-l-e-s-s-s at gmail.com also don't forget to listen like share and subscribe to the pointless talks podcast we are now available on even more platforms <laughs> um you know i'm we're on tune in now tune in radio they have podcasts so you can look us up in the podcast section of tune in we're on apple music itunes soundcloud you can um follow us on facebook we're on google play music follow me on twitter i talk back instagram also um spotify all of that fun stuff i'm trying to work on a couple more platforms even with those involved so like i said if you like us rate us give us five stars leaving a bad man feelings them to on itself and whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you again for tuning in to the pointless talks podcast